Welcome, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match stream. This is Shadow Fantasy 3, bringing you some exhibition match replays. Starting off the game between Art Shaman and Auto War, and we saw Auto War on Saturday do a rather silly game. I'm not sure this game is any less silly, but I'm going to give it a chance. And Art Shaman, on the other hand, not known to be silly, but who knows? That this game has not any comments on it saying it is silly, so I'm assuming that it is not a silly game. Or at least not a game with cheats in it. Silly otherwise is fine. I mean, Cubit does silly all the time, and I love seeing that, so... Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with being kind of silly. It's just... That was a little bit of an awkward kind of silly with the cheating and all. But... Enough of that. On to the game. So, Auto War starting out in the north side of the map. This is Flooded Valley, by the way. Very apt. This is an, a map I've shown before, but it's very sea-focused. Quite a lot of metal is inside the... Valley, the part of the valley that's flooded itself. About half of the metal spots are underwater, the other half are above water on land, and only two in the main base, which is a little bit tricky. It's one of the hard parts with this level is that you have to kind of rely on these rocks for reclaim. But 450 metal for both of the rocks, but seeing as there's only four metal per second to be gained from the metal spots in the base, it becomes a little bit tricky to set up one's economy quickly. Anyway, Archam starting very quickly with Hovercraft Factory, while Ottawa was going for Amphibious Bots, and Ottawa quickly going for Scallops, which makes sense given the aquatic nature of this map. A little still surprised that Ducks weren't the opener, being that Ducks are very cheap, and Scallops are 280 each, and Ducks are 80 each. So just to have that extra little rating power, but no, it looks like Ottawa wants to have Scallop Torpedoes, and... Oh, whoa, never mind, Scallops got changed. I guess they did. Okay, it looks like they have a death charge launcher, effectively, that goes a little bit above water, but still not that effective compared to their shotgun above water. However, Ottawa, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be tricky. And yeah, if I feel a little bit unsure about things, sea balance changes all the time in this game, so it's a little bit difficult to say exactly how things are going to go. Like I said, that scallop change is fairly recent. Duck change, not so much. Ducks have always had the torpedoes, and that's why I'm a little bit surprised that Ducks weren't the first choice because the homing torpedoes would be able to get pretty much anything being sent out. I guess Ottawa did not expect hover. Given the comments in the chat, I don't think that was what was expected at all. And a couple ducks in here. Works best underwater though, although it actually at this point doesn't because one thing to point out, daggers can actually hit underwater now. The dagger gauss cannon is capable of hitting units underwater. One of the more recent changes as well, being that Hovercrafts had this weird interaction with underwater units, or rather, no interaction, which is really weird. And that's been changed. At any rate, Art Shaman is taking advantage of their pressure, putting a nice blockade around Ottawa and basically taking all the map control. As you can see, it's just Ottawa taking all the economy down to the south, and Art Shaman moving out with some ducks. These should be able to break the blockade, no problem. I mean, five ducks against some daggers when the ducks aren't going to be getting in each other's way with the missiles due to the height difference. That works to their advantage quite nicely. Although, Art Shaman is still a, well, still in a decent position to move forward, but it looks like Art Auto War putting Stardust in their base, preventing anything from coming in effectively. And moving out the ducks nicely as well. So the ducks able to get out, get rid of some of the dagger, All the daggers, and looks of it. In fact, these last couple daggers need to get away. The ducks going to have... Pretty big advantage here. Yep, that's another dagger get gone. These ducks are doing a wonderful job. Going for the counter raid. Auto War is going to be able to hit Archaman pretty hard. Archaman, 12 seconds away from getting that urchin up, and Auto War does not go for it. Auto War, not actually aware of that, but unfortunately does not go for it in time, and that urchin will be up by the time the ducks get near it, which is now, and that urchin has gone up. Though the ducks, if they spread out a bit, that will be fine, although Auto War, unfortunately, doing it dot moving. Point moving in a 0k is never a good idea. You want to line move. You want to always, always, always line move. Because point moving just allows splash damage to hit your units and deal a ton of damage to them. And also prevents the units from firing through each other. Because like, units cannot fire through each other, or in most cases, over each other. There are a few exceptions like rogues, but for the most part, units have to fire through each other, or rather through the space between each other, in order to actually get any shots off. But that aside, Ottawa continue to build more and more ducks couple conscious as well just for extra expansion which is now is really the time Ottawa should be building up some metal extractors just along here along the north side they have what they need they also need to reclaim these rocks that's huge 
On this map, you have to reclaim those rocks. Our champion has gone and done that, did that a while ago. No, did one of them, but not the other one. Yeah, Auto War hasn't done either, focusing way too much on the Stardust and... Well, okay, this... There is some reclaim going on. Yeah, the Concha is reclaiming some Scallops and the Daggers they came in earlier, but that's not the really important reclaim. The really important reclaim is the Rocks, and then, of course, just taking the metal along here, and actually Rocks Underwater as well. And if... Okay, it's not going to matter so much here. Gunships would be able to take care... Gunships and airplanes would be able to take care of these Rocks over in the corners as well. But yeah, this map is fairly reclaim dependent for the first few minutes of the game, and Ottawa is not taking advantage of that, which is not going to work out well for them. And also, Ottawa, why are they... They are hiding their ducks in the middle of the water here, and not going for a raid. Not even going for a scout. Just not touching this base at all. And I don't know why, because these ducks would do fine. Might be waiting for these ducks, these seven ducks here to flank with, so a dozen ducks into the main base, which will work, actually. Our Shaman is not prepared for this at all. No defenses in the main base. All the defenses are laid out on the outside, and Auto War is going to be able to take this out. I'm just double-checking. Auto War, what vision does Auto War have of this? None, actually. Auto War has no idea what is in Archaman's base, but is going to get lucky because Archaman has nothing in this base. And there it goes. The commander about to go down. Thanks to the ducks. At least it would if the ducks had been line-moved and not point-moved. Like I said, point-moving a bad idea, but still, Archaman commander goes down, and the factory is soon to follow. The units haven't gotten to a much more useful formation, but even then, it's, it still could be better. Actually, Archam doing the same point move problem, although with daggers, it's not as big of a deal to do the Gauss weaponry firing through, but doesn't matter, the Hovercraft Factory has gone down, and this point, Auto War can just go in for another attack, really. They just go into another attack to finish it off while expanding. Very important, this co that's a duck. There is a contra here, which is reclaiming the rocks, finally. Get those rocks reclaimed, and then take these metal spots take all the metal spots. I think Auto War, I know Auto War is more of a team game player and not so much a 1v1 player. Very important thing about 1v1 though, you want to expand all the time. Even if you aren't sure it's going to be safe, just expand all the time. Because if it isn't safe, okay, you'll lose the metal extractor, but they aren't that expensive. And if it is safe, you'll gain a metal extractor and all the economy that goes with it. Anyway, ducks, getting rid of the torpedoes, sorry, the urchins, the torpedo launchers, getting rid of the middle base and just Making their economy, well, making their economy not as much relatively weaker. Like, weakening our champion's economy effectively. And getting rid of a proxy gunship plant. That was actually a really good little raid there. Proxy gunship plant is still up, though. It's still present. Doesn't much matter, though. And Auto War continuing to push in with the ducks. Getting, surprisingly, why are these urchins not attacking? Okay, I think the urchin might be bugged. There we go. The urchin... Getting in some attacks, but not actually getting in much. It looks like the terrain might actually be getting in the way. Regardless, the ducks are able to start getting rid of these quills, or at least deal some damage to them, while more ducks are forthcoming, but Auto War still has not expanded very much. That's the thing, Auto War is not expanding, which I think will cost them the game. I mean, Reclaim is useful, but Energy Reclaim is no good. Auto War has... Actually, Auto War has resources in reserve that aren't being spent quickly enough. It could be spending resources that they have. They could be pushing the commander onto the factory and using that to build up units faster. And should be doing so, actually, in this particular case. And another duck goes down to the urchin, while the center has been almost fully broken down. The gunship plant, not down yet, but... Still, Arch Hammond is not have the units to deal with this right now. Can't really get rid of these urchins easily. With enough ducks, maybe, the scallops would probably be a better option. No, scallops would be a better option. What's their range? Okay, the charge range is 430, the torpedo range is 590, so it's still a bit risky, but I think it would actually do the trick. Still, ducks, at least underwater, should be able to get across each other, because they would be firing over each other's heads. But even then, it doesn't seem to matter much. The ducks are going for an attack, getting rid of one of the urchins. Second urchin might go down in time, but it's still really hard. These ducks are going to die in the process, breaking down all these urchins. Now, once again, Auto War not expanding in the process is reclaiming those, so the economy is still not terrible, and is bringing on Archam's economy, which is good. That needs to be done as well. And Archam has actually switched over to Amphib themselves, so we're into Duck Wars. It's pure Duck Wars, that's it. That's all this is, it's just Duck Wars. However, Auto War was well ahead when it came to the duck production, but unfortunately for them, not well ahead when it comes to Duck Micro, and they lose all their ducks that have gone for the advanced attack. However, the entire east side of the map is now free. 
Auto War can move through there freely and actually can reclaim a bunch of that stuff too. A few more conscious built up to reclaim that would be awesome. Or just use the commander. Use the commander, reclaim all this stuff. Build a caretaker first here and then use the commander to reclaim the stuff. Anyway, Auto War right now is decently aware of what's around. Does know about the stuff over here in the sides. But doesn't know much else. Whereas Archaman, Archaman is purely on line of sight. That's it. That's all they have. That's all they have for information, which is a little unfortunate for them. However, they are at a massive advantage. The only downside is right now, Ottawa does have a lot of ducks in their base, though Archaman is doing a much better job of positioning their own ducks. Not quite a concave, but still a nice line here, and that will give... That should give Archaman the advantage they need. Stardusts are going to be a bit of a problem, though. Trying to get up into the base against those Stardusts will be tricky using ducks. I don't think ducks will work. Boys would do a decent job. Grizzlies would do a wonderful job. Actually, Grizzlies would probably be the counter. But I don't see Archaman doing that anytime soon. Probably going to continue to go for mass ducks. Get rid of Ottawa's ducks while Ottawa are actually avoiding the conflict entirely, relying on the Stardust to commit to defend this entire base and going in instead with about 16 ducks over to the west side of the map to break that all free of Archaman's control. And interestingly, Archaman has not gone to rebuild his gunship plant or push more metal into the gunship plant. It remains as it was, which a little bit odd, but okay, that's fine, I suppose. And Archaman is going in for further harassment. Sorry, Ottawa is going for the rest of Archam and actually getting completely repelled. I think is Ottawa going to be able to get to win this? Maybe it really comes down to the fact that unit positioning is not very good for Ottawa. They're going to lose a lot of ducks in this fight, a lot more than they need to. Although not all of them, but still not the most efficient distribution of ducks there. Like I said, Ottawa just point moving as you can see the entire time. Line moving would go and would help a lot. It would do wonders, especially with ducks. The ducks have a tendency to just saw there to kill each other. They do not respect each other very much. Yeah, once again, we just saw ducks. Ducks believe in friendly fire. Yeah, once again, Ottawa in our shaman's base, breaking it down, killing their dudes, and caretaker's gone down as well. I mean, our shaman and Ottawa just have not really, neither has really had a chance to build up that much though. Honestly, a large part of it is Ottawa has not built up. Building a fusion reactor in their base for, I don't know what reason. Like, I really don't know. I. Auto War, I think, is way too ingrained in team habits. Because in large team games, yeah, you would be only building in a tiny section this size or smaller. But in 1v1 game, you have the entire map that can be yours and should be yours if you want to win. So yeah, just as a bit of a tutorialization, Auto War, expand everywhere. Because our Shaman is actually... Kind of falling behind, but Ottawa are pushing most of the fusion. They're focusing on overdrive. Like what they want to get is the fusion for the overdrive, but like I said, that's really inefficient. Or I didn't say that actually, but it is really inefficient. The better option is the expansion. And reclaim also helps too. The conch is going out to reclaim, which is good. It could be going out further. I mean, Ottawa I should point out does have radar. Ottawa is fully aware of what's going on. They know exactly what's going on with, with Arch Shaman's forces. There's no question there. But Arch Shaman is still getting map control. Despite the fact that Ottawa has vision of everything, Arch Shaman has map control. What are we talking about for a sec? Oh, yeah. So ultimately, Arch Shaman will be winning at this race just because Ottawa is not being aggressive enough. And, which you can't do in this game. In 0k, you have to be aggressive. It's just simple as that. You have to be aggressive. If you're not aggressive, you lose. It's very simple. And unfortunately for Ottawa, they're not being very aggressive. And while the fusion reactor is up and overdrive is kind of going, it's still not great. It's only maybe double. So you're getting eight metal per second out of overdrive, and that's about it. Finally getting another metal extractor over here. Building that up, which really could have been built up minutes ago, especially since Ottawa is now bearing down. Sorry, Archam is now bearing down on Ottawa. I mean, Ottawa, when they were attacking, had a great chance to expand. Like, when you're attacking, that's when you want to expand. Because your opponent is distracted with defense. They aren't going to be trying to counter raid. They're going to be defending. Just make sure that if you are starting to fall behind that you retreat your units so that they don't all die so you can actually put up with the counter attack. You can actually have some defenses. And Arch Shaman taking care of this metal extractor which might be teaching Ottawa the wrong lesson about when to expand or that expansion is actually a good thing. Because expansion is a good thing, Ottawa just has not timed it properly. 
That's the main problem here. And Ottawa is going for yet another raid along the western side of the map. <sighs> Probably not going to be that effective, though, but it's just like the thing is, Ottawa simply has not gotten enough resources up due to the fact that they only have a couple metal extractor points and no reclaim. They haven't got enough resources to build enough units to be able to press their advantage when they've gotten the advantage. And they have, on several occasions this game, gotten the advantage, but they can't press it due to the lack of economy. So Archem has been able to stay in the game as a result of that. And Archem and now just getting a contain on Auto Wars Factory. Auto Wars just ra rallying that into the water, which really isn't the best option at this point. That should be rallied onto land, just that the units are not being destroyed that easily. Although admittedly, Archem's forces are slowly but surely getting worn down. And now Auto War in the back. I don't think Auto What is Auto War paying attention to? Auto War is paying attention to... Oh, just purely paying attention to Archem's base. Not multitasking at all. Just paying attention entirely to this raid, which might work. It, I don't think it'll work. I mean, it, Auto War's forces are now being surrounded by Archamans. Archamans won't be able to kill the factory in time. And a scallop up as well, just for good measure. So Auto War losing that raid, not killing the factory, not really dealing any damage, and feeding a lot of metal into Archamans' base. Now Archamans could go for a counterattack and basically win. Like, this is this is basically a game. Archamans was kind of waiting on defense, waiting on that attack, and now that the attack is over and done with, Auto War can go in and win. I mean, Auto War knows well enough what Archamans has. Sorry, Archamans has well enough. Other way around. I don't know why I get the players confused, but yeah. Our chairman knows well enough where Auto War is. Not the other way around. I think partly it's because of the order of the player list. I have some ideas of what to do with the player list in general, so that's a different matter. But besides that, Auto War basically is surrounded. And this is the kill. Our chairman moving for the kill. Ducks coming in. About eh, about a dozen ducks coming in for our chairman. Just to finish off Auto War, and once they get in there, that will be game. I should probably fast forward that too, because not much is gonna happen. Honestly, Auto War is gonna lose everything. Archaman moving in, and there. Well, there's some archers, which actually is not a bad counter idea, except for the fact that archers do not do much underwater. They are above ground. They are on the ground, actually, a great option. They do counter ducks pretty handily. But underwater, they do nothing. And scallops are actually already in place, so they're not going to help too much either. Ultimately, not going to work. So that is game. I'm not sure why Auto War is taking a while to surrender. I guess Auto War is not quite confident they have lost the game now. But... Okay, what? Stinger's coming up for Archam and... Just to put a bit more of a siege on here, getting rid of the Stardusts, I guess, which, not a bad idea. Faraday behind them might be still a bit of a problem, but... Nope, not too much of one. Actually, look, it looks like it's the next thing to be hit. Yep, it is. Looks like a few hits to go down, but once it gets out of its shell, it actually won't even matter, because the ducks... Nope, still have a shell. The Stinger could still kill it at will. The ducks, however, will do the honors instead. And Auto War... GG's, and that is game. Which was a bit of a underwhelming game, I suppose. But yeah, it goes to show how much expansion really matters, and not expanding while attacking is a great way to lose momentum, as Auto War puts it. So I'll have another game for you guys in just a moment. It will be a game between Lowry and Google Frog. Yes, that's right, Lowry and Google Frog on Red Comet. So stay tuned for that. I'll be back with that in just a moment.